a new branch of medicine, the humble tree, provider of fruit, shade, and now bones. Scientists at the ISTEC Research Lab in central Italy have discovered a way of transforming ordinary wood into this, a substance almost identical to human bone. After testing several tree types, they found rattan wood, just like you have in furniture, has the best properties for the process. The rattan is heated several times and put under intense pressure. It's also exposed to various chemical changes, including having calcium and phosphate added. The end result is a strong, durable substance that can be attached to real bones. The main advantage is that the implant is not artificial, it's very, very similar to natural bone. It's able to support the loading of the body and it doesn't need to be uh, taken out and uh, at the end we will have bone substituting the implant. Under a microscope, the wood bones look very similar to a cross-section of human or animal bone. The holes allow blood, nerves and other particles to migrate from the real bone to this new substance. The whole process of transforming the wood into this substitute bone takes about 10 days. And who will benefit? Well, anybody who needs a substitute bone, ranging from people who have accidents to cancer patients whose disease destroys their bones. The potential for this substitute bone is limitless. The wood bones have already been implanted into sheep who had arthritis. Until now, major load-bearing bones destroyed by disease or accident would have been mended using metal rods or ceramic plates, which can need replacing. X-rays show that the sheep's real bones are actually fusing with the wood-based material. Surgeons who carried out the procedure say eventually you won't be able to see the join. The difference is that it's very light and very stable from the point of view of mechanics, but it, it's uh, reabsorbable and uh, at the end you can have uh, more close to the natural bone formed. Implanting humans with the new material is about five years away, but scientists here are convinced this could transform orthopedic surgery everywhere. Bones from trees, where medicine has become rooted in nature. Duncan Kennedy, BBC News, Faenza in central Italy.